from D for the violin, cello, hamonche, and other instruments. This is 293 hertz is the um, reference note. So we're going to continue on that. And the next note, the Persian flat, E flat, is only 90 cents uh, different above the D, 3.934 hertz, let's say. Okay, let's go to E Coron. That's 318 hertz. Point four, let's see. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is just natural E at three. 30.37 hertz. Okay, the next tone is F at 348 uh, hertz. 348 hertz. Next one is F sorry. This is cut off a little bit. At 358 hertz. So let's see if we can get that in the shot. Um, so 0 0.2. Oops. Uh, is this doing the right thing? I don't think so. 358.2 Okay, next one is F sharp, 367 hertz 367.08 uh, G is 391 hertz, 0.55. Uh, G sharp is 412, 0.447. Four two four point five three three. Okay, uh, A, which is the four forty hertz. That's pretty simple. That's the reference note we're using. Then A sharp. Again, the Persian sharp is a little bit flatter. It's only 90 cents and not 100 cents. 0.48. Oops. Didn't punch one number right. So now, B coron or C coron in Farsi, they call it. 477.06. B 
natural is basically 493.87. Now moving to C natural, 520.237 hertz. Let's see, and then C suri is 535.48 hertz. Okay, C sharp is 554.37, let's say. Okay, and then finally D, which is just the octave at 587.33 hertz. doesn't matter. Yeah, with this software you could actually go up and down in chromatic whole tone, which is not really what we're interested in. Okay, I hope that helps.